What's up, everybody? Uh, so, going to do a video on install of my new exhaust. Okay. First thing to do is take the get the fairing off right here. Slide fairing. Uh, Suzuki, we got one, we got three, four, four uh, screws, fairing screws. Take off two push pins. And then it pops right off there. Oh yeah, wow, the exhaust is already cool. I rode it earlier and uh, I was worried that it was gonna be super hot uh, when I went to go do this, but looks like it's cooled down well, quite a bit. So, we burn in my hands, that's always good, right? Get in here, pop this loose. Hopefully you guys can see, um, pretty bad lighting on here. I should have waited until daytime, but, uh, kind of ADHD and, uh, uh, wanted to do it right now. <laughs> so, yeah. So like I said, sorry for the lighting. Man, I hate these plastic clip push clips. They're terrible. So yeah. Cool. Cool. That off of there. That. This comes off of there. The tricky one is this one over here. There you go. You gotta set this over here. Out of the way. Turn another light on. I don't know if that's gonna help. <laughs> so, with this exhaust, you're gonna need to take this bolt out, this and that bolt, and I do believe one on the other side, or maybe not. Um, We'll find out, won't we? <laughs> All right. Uh, this an extension, and I'm guessing a. By looking at it, it looks like a 13 millimeter. There we go. I got all my crap tools here. All my good tools at work. If I had a good tool, ooh, it's a 12. If I had a good, good tool, I could just at work, I just zip it off with my second air impact. Oh, geez, are you serious? Note to self organize tools better. There's the 12. Alright. So you're gonna take this bolt loose and the clamp. And I do believe on this thing that's holding it. Holding it on. Let's, you know, of course that could be on. That's there, that's that's gone. And I want 
say I think there's one more bolt. It's pretty loose, but it's not quite all the way there. Let's take a gander here. Let's take a look. Let's see. Or is it just so freaking heavy? No, got one on this other side over here. That new one. Yeah. Over oh, here. So I'm gonna go around on the other side. Take that one loose. And we'll take a look. See if I can. Now. So let's see if we can get this big old heifer off of here. Whew. Man. The exhaust is cooled down, but that. Freaking. Oh. Look at that thing. Look at that big old monstrosity. That was that was weighing my bike down. Holy cow, look at that. Look at that. all that open space. Open space. Open space. Hey, you guys want me to start it up? I'll start it up. <laughs> no exhaust. <laughs> oh, don't want to piss off the neighbors. Oh, okay. So, this is what it looks like. No exhaust. I'll be back to show you what I'm putting on. So, directions say remove the rear set, take your two bolts, your T, what is this, a T6? Not a T6, but a Allen 6. Remove your two bolts here. Hold your rear set on. Take it out. Not your bracket. It took me a while to figure out which ones were, you know... You can mount it in however you want to, but I'm assuming these are the two that they want. So, mounted it loosely, it says. Okay. Okay. And then it tells you to replace the rear set. So, I'm going to just put these down hand tight. Okay. Hand tight. Because I'm gonna have to move it around probably. So I put this rear set back up there, put the bolts back in. It says to use Loctite, but uh, I'm not going to tonight, and I'll do it when I get to work. Tomorrow, you wanna use blue Loctite. And it says right in there. Well, no, it doesn't. It just says Loctite. You don't wanna use red Loctite because you will never get it off. Red Loctite is. Red Loctite's intended for stuff that you don't want to ever take off again. Um, you can get it off things off with Red Loctite, but you got to use a torch to get it off. So, so let's see. tighten it down. Still loosely. Man, my kids are fighting. Isn't that normal? Okay, so. Get my exhaust. Where's the exhaust clamp board? Okay. And the washer for the exhaust clamp. Clamp. I'm just gonna put. Um, I'm gonna do it this way. this so, okay. so. Oh. Ooh, okay
So what I'm going to have to do is probably move it because it's not, this isn't lining up. So I'm assuming that the bracket needs to go in a different position. So I'm going to take that off. reposition it. So. This off. And this off. Probably really crappy lighting. Sorry. Over here. Hopefully that's better. So I move your rear set. Put the bolt out. Okay. Bolt out of the rear set. Uh, out of the way. Move this. Okay, so everything's loosely bolted on. Okay, I'm gonna end up tightening my rear setup first. To the uh, torque specs, uh, ah, yay tight. <laughs> that speck of the a tight <clears throat> okay this one goes to the exhaust clamp I'm not going to do that one yet I'm going to tighten this one down um, what size was that? Sometimes I dislike Allen wrenches. They would slip out real easy. That seems to be tight. Alright, tighten this one down. Exhaust looks nice, look at that. So, took those loose, mounted it, mount, put the bolt in, mounted the bolt. Oh, I still gotta tighten that down. Um, exhaust clamp on, haven't tightened it down yet. Um, going to tighten it down, then uh, do a, a startup. on there but I thought they were nicks but they're uh they're just little dirts whatever 
Alright, start up. Start up competition work GP slip on, or not slip on, GP exhaust.